Hello, it's Andy Graham, Hobo Traveler. This bus has Wi-Fi on it. I actually used it on the bus. I'm now going to show you on the bus, me using the Wi-Fi. Okay, it's Andy Graham with HoboTraveler.com. I'm in uh, actually in a bus uh, between Zadar, Croatia and Split, Croatia and they have Wi-Fi on this bus. This is the first time I've ever seen Wi-Fi on a bus. I just I, I know they have it in the planes, but who's gonna pay for that? I can actually uh, surf around, do whatever I want, go to Google, search for Croatia. Show you some pictures. Then, uh, obviously, what you really want to do is be able to look at a map or something. That's the big million dollar problem with uh, traveling, is uh, you need maps, right? So it's a huge rainstorm right now, and uh, I actually tried to show you the... Uh, I kept looking at the... The Wi-Fi sign on the other side there. I'll show you in a minute. But he has the. They don't speak. I think but right next to the television was the. Uh, they don't speak English, but the, right next to the television was the signal that you're supposed to hook to, and then the. Um, whoa. And the and the password. So you really should get this before you get on the bus in a way. But I. I you know, who sees a Wi-Fi sign on the side of a bus, right? Yeah, but it, it's pretty high speed. It works pretty good. Um, I'm going to have to travel more in Europe just because uh, I, you know, you kind of lose track. I'm, I'm always in the third world in a way, or the, you know, the underdeveloped planet places. So trying to stay connected to them, I always recommend the dongle, dongle or the uh, USB wireless modem. But obviously Europe's... Uh, uh, advancing this. Thanks. Andy Graham, Hobo Traveler. Subscribe to my travel blog.